Good morning. It is April 17th, and uh, we have a staff birthday today. So we are on the road to find that house because last time I kind of sent us to the wrong place. We'll see if Sharon gets us there this time. <laughs> I'm sure she will because Mrs. Donaldson put the address in instead of me. So this time we probably will have it correct. Stay tuned. Here we go. Look who we picked up along the way. Ha! Walking down the street. All kinds of trash around here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to uh, sing we a special a birthday. surprise birthday here. Let me just put this up here and then... You got you got to come over here, Mr. Crossy, and be in the singing escapade here. Fancy, fancy. Well, th these ladies can't sing, so they, they need some help. Yeah, <laughs> we totally can. This birthday thing is so hard. I, I, and I'm a lot of help, I'm sure. <laughs> We're hoping her girls help us sing. This there would be a lot know. of fun. Yeah, they, I mean, they know we're coming. Like, <laughs> where are they? It is April. Maybe but it's she's like, like some odd degrees out here. Maybe she's hiding. Hey! There oh, we no, go! No. Happy <laughs> birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Mrs. Covington! Happy birthday to you! Yes! Right. Look! And we have Mr. Covington, Covington too! Were you out this is so fun. We love our people. We love doing this. We're thankful that technology is still allows us to do this. And if you have Mrs. Covington, get us lost last time, so I didn't If you have Mrs. Covington, send her some fun love today for her birthday. So our spotlight, small business spotlight today is uh, Chick Fil A. Wait, how do I do this? Yes. All right, we'll have that right up. You can't. Sauces for you. Do you want sauce? No, we're good. Okay, go ahead and pull it to the or it's going right there. Thank you. Um. Norman family owns Chick-fil-A and um, we are very blessed to give them our business. Come on through the drive through and this line, the lines are kind of crazy here. Um, n no one can live without Chick-fil-A, like this nope. is craziness. So um, we're, we're being, uh, we're being motioned to go line up in a line over here. And then I'm not we, sure what to do actually. Well, you gotta go to one of those spots. No, cause those are like, they're the, they're pickup, right? They have That's the greatest you... organization. <laughs> I just can't understand it. Okay, so I, so we went through the drive-through, stood in that line. These people are just like, literally these car. I don't know if All you right, can I see this. I gotta move. We're, we're um, moving forward a little bit. Maybe if I turn the camera around, how do I do you that? Can. Oh, I'm I can't. Trying. It doesn't work. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh, there's an endless stream of people and then we come sit over here and it says that even though it says DoorDash we were told to come sit over here somewhere yeah. um, and wait for them to bring out our food uh, point remains that Chick-fil-A is the best yep. and um, hands down you need to come and come through the drive through they are so fast it's it's crazy, a, it's crazy. Like, like th this line why can't like, the DMV figure this out? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> this line of people is endless. I know I'm probably making you all sick with the way I'm... I don't normally do the videoing. I'm not the videographer she is. Um, anyway, we're waiting for our Chick-fil-A. We're going to take you back to school, do some work. Happy birthday again, Mrs. Covington. And um, we'll talk to you a little bit. Oh, here comes our guy. Check this there out. Thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, I need help. Right, thank you, you, thank you. We're in this thing together. Chick-fil-A Ogden. Yeah. How cool is that? That is the Normans. That's the Normans. That's the Normans. Um, we love that family. Best food in town. So, best people. Best people. Best people, yeah. Um, Come on out to your Chick-fil-A in Ogden, where this is the one on Washington. Are we on Washington? Yeah, we're on Washington. <laughs> the one on Washington, the one the Normans own. Come on out and uh, give them some of your business. See you in a little bit. 
<laughs> Hi, scholars. <laughs> Dr. Gore was hey. just making chipmunk noises, <laughs> thinking that's how a skunk sounded. Sorry, I don't know what noise a skunk makes. Do you Come. know what noise a skunk makes? Send us a video of you making that noise. Oh, gosh. You know <laughs> what you're asking for? Okay. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your Friday off so far. If you don't watch the Doc and Donaldson show or you have lame. friends that don't watch the Doc and Donaldson lame. show. <laughs> yeah. uh, chances, the program. Chances are they're doing schoolwork today while you're enjoying your day off. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your day off. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> um... We went to Mrs. Cummington's for her birthday and sang to her. You saw that. Yeah. Already. Um, and the hitchhiker, Mr. Cross, met us there. It yeah. Was great fun. That was such a surprise. And we actually got to stand outside and talk at a distance, which is good for the soul. Um, uh, but I wanted to mention something a little bit uh, more serious. We've noticed that over the last couple of days now that um, the states decided that we're not going to be in school um, the rest of this year. We've noticed that some of you are really slacking off on your work. Now you've got today off so you don't need to be you know submitting things but here's the deal you guys. Um, some schools are closing for the year already. Um, there's a lot of high school kids that are not getting credit. If you are willing to persevere and push to get your content done, not only will you probably finish early, but um, you're gonna be ahead of the game when, we, when fall comes around. And if you're coming to Capstone, um, you know, if we're allowed to stay open and you come here, or no matter what, whatever school you end up in next year, you'll be ahead because you took the time to do the work. So, why does that matter, Dr. Goers? Why does it matter to be ahead if I'm a 7th, 8th grader, or even a ninth grader? Why does it matter? Because then you're on top of the pile instead of struggling and being on the bottom of the pile. And then you will be able to um, keep up your credits for high school. This is, this is a long range thing that's happening here. If you're a seventh or eighth grader, sixth grader, seventh or eighth grader, you need to be pushing to finish the content so that you have as much as you can to be prepped for high school. If you're a high schooler, you don't want to cut your courses short. That is going to have a huge effect on scholarships, opportunities for college, uh, even jobs. On your resume, you want to be able to say that when everybody else gave up on school, I finished it. I did my content. You'll have more credits than everybody else. You know what that's going to mean for you ninth graders? That means by the time you're an 11th grader and you're applying for university, you're going to have more credits than students that just stop learning right now. Um, the state of Utah is going to this pass-fail. Well, a number of schools are going to the pass-fail. We're not doing that. If we go to pass-fail, you lose your GPA points. And when it comes to scholarships and things like that, you're not going to have the numbers you need. So understand that even though this may be a little bit harder right now, certainly for all of us because of the situation we're in, um, don't give up on your studies. If you need a mental health day, tell mom and dad, I need a mental health day. I'm going to sit and eat my ice cream or whatever all day. And they'll put in an excused absence for you. Um, or eat well, a and so, huge so bag <laughs> of... This is, our, um, this is going to be our Friday uh, survival right here. Right, uh, yeah, that was every day. Well, yeah, but so many. But, like, I can eat the whole bag right now. Um, portion control, whatever. <laughs> Mrs. Covington um, blessed us with this this morning. And um, be you know, proud. There's it a method. It's been a half hour since we've been back, and it's just barely being opened. There's I can a method smell to it the from here. Oh my God. I can smell it from here. Ah! Look how beautiful <laughs> those are. Oh my gosh. Almost perfect gummy bear. Oh my gosh. Ever. Look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. No, two. Oh, I'm going to drop them. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Oh, purple and green? <laughs> yes. Anyway. 
do what you have to do to feed your soul. Um, if you're a Bible reader, if you're a devotional reader, if you're a novel reader, if you're a gummy you, bear eater, mm-hmm. <laughs> eater reader, <laughs> um, feed your soul and do those things you need to do. Get enough sleep. Um, those of you that are staying up way late at night and you're on your phones and stuff, uh uh-uh. Take a break. Not a good habit. Put that habit away and, um, adopt some healthy habits. Now, this is not probably a healthy habit. (laughs) However, wait, we're going to... Cherry, strawberry, mango. These are... It's fat-free and (laughs) gluten-free. It's healthy. (laughs) Sugar is never healthy. And low sodium. Yeah. However, um, we're adults, and we should be able to limit this. So we will only, uh, we'll portion it out. She might. And you can hold us accountable to not eat more than what? How many a day? I'm going to buy a new bag. (laughs) (laughs) No more than 20 a day. I think I'm done already. (laughs) I'm counting. I only had 10. I haven't even had 10. Anyway, I want to encourage you to. <laughs> uh, Let's want- make an abacus out of gummy bears. <laughs> okay, so here's a, here's a fun fact for you all, since you all keep eating these fun facts. It was like a month ago. A I month ago or two months ago. ago. I could not think of the word abacus. <laughs> I don't even, it was like a rabbit. I kept coming up with the worst. Abscess. <laughs> yeah. It was bad. Um, <laughs> I had to guess what she was talking about. I can understand. And finally I was like, are you talking about an abacus? She, she, goes, she goes, that thing that you add up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Move the beat. Mrs. Bentley can testify to the fact math is not my strong suit. <laughs> However, I'd make a pretty cool abacus. We could string them up, eat them one by one. I was going to say, I'm eating them. I'm not playing with them. That'll be our portion control. Anyway, can we get back to serious? Sorry. (laughs) Seriously, don't give up on your schoolwork. Get all you can because that's your future. And later on in life, when you're peers are kicking themselves because they're going to school for three summers in high school to try to get enough credits to get to a decent university, you'll have yours. Yep. If With you, a scholarship. Yeah. Think about that. The pool of scholarship-able high school students um, is uh, narrowing. Keep yourself in the pool. Don't give up on your work. If you need help, if you need, um, you know, extra encouragement, or you need, uh, I don't know, whatever your <laughs> um, assistance. Communicate. With <laughs> communicate with us, and um, we'll do what we can to help you. We want to set you up for success. Whether or not it's at capstone is immaterial. I want you successful in life. And life is much bigger than the four years you spend in a high school. Um, don't give up. Take a break when you need to. But then go back at it with all the energy you have so that when it comes to next year, this time, you can say, I am so glad I completed my work. Um, Staff is working on some ideas and coming up with some things to be able to maybe motivate you a little more and incentivize you to get your work done. Um, We'll roll that out when we have the details. Other than that, um, enjoy your rest of your day off and enjoy your weekend. Go play outside. It's beautiful It's outside. just cold. It is so cold. It's a but jacket. Wear a jacket. Go outside though. It's beautiful. Yeah. But get out. Uh, sun is beautiful today and uh, Woo! Woo! Kayaks. This is ballet. Who kayaks. in the world is going to go kayaking? Like really? It's time. The water's got to be like 20 degrees or something. Um, go no, outside. It would be frozen. <laughs> 
I can't do math. <laughs> she can't do science. It's okay. Yes, I can. I'm a science teacher. Oh. Uh, anyway. At what degree does water freeze? <laughs> Would you like to try to consider the velocity of my fist at a punch? <laughs> anyway, um, we love you guys. Have a great Very weekend. Uh, enjoy the rest of the photos and our joyful music because we're all going to be joyful. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. And FYI, if you don't know, these are legit the best type of Oh, my gosh. Mrs. Cummington knows like, the way to our hearts, right? Like, it. oh, boy. And we highlighted um, 100 calories in nine. Okay, we can't have 12 a day. Nine a day. Up. I can. I love my body. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking she of body, just say that. Speaking of body, just so you know, um, our small business spotlight today is oh, a family that is very near and dear to our hearts. It is yes. Chick Fil A. Yeah, the Norman family. They're um, awesome. We love them. We really can't say enough about them and how amazing they are. You guys know Elijah, and I know he is hating this as much as you guys are, too, and wishing all of our yeah. family was back together. So if you can, go say hi, because um, the Normans have actually been there. A couple, we've seen Mr. Norman, and yeah. it's good to see our families there. So Yep, they need your support um, as much as you need their support. So... Um, yeah, partner up. See if your parents will put you in the car and take you up to Chick Fil A. Their drive through takes like thirty seconds. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Organized. They need to like yeah copyright that and right. sell it because the DMV. <laughs> everyone else just sucks at that order organization. It's not but just them. the DMV. What about the post office? That too. The bank. Anything. I just want to know how they do it. Awesome. Go see our people. We miss you. We'll be out to see a bunch of you next week. We got a list a mile long. Yeah. Did you but ask? you don't get to know. Just so you know, don't ask us when we're coming. Not telling. Not it's a telling. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Not yes, telling. always please be dressed appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> How about just be dressed, please? Okay. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Let it move. Yeah.